Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about that um, reports and dashboard. So today we'll first talk about that. Uh, what is a report? How can we create the report? And then again we'll talk about that. What is the dashboard and how we can add the reports into the dashboard? So without wasting time, let's get started. So if you see here, this is one of the dashboard called Project Summary Waterfall. So which have multiple, a combination of multiple reports. Our dashboard could have reports uh, uh, and uh, maybe there are there could be many things that, that can have widget, it can have uh, PA reports, multiple things can be happen. Uh, so we'll today our main focus is to the reports uh, and then we'll discuss that how we can add the reports into the, our dashboard. So to get the reports, very first thing you have to type the report uh, in the left navigations and then uh, if you see here, you have the options called uh, view and run report or uh, view and run and then there is a create new options. Okay, so if you click the view and run, you will be able to see all the existing reports which is available uh, here. So if you see here, these all are my, uh, you know, my reports and you can see these are the my reports and if you click here groups, so whatever is the group reports will be available under the global, it will show all the available global, uh, you know, um, uh, reports will be available and then finally if you click all, it will contain all the reports. So basically report uh, can give you the, uh, you know, uh, diagramic way that, uh, you know, how the data is right now in the real time in the system okay so first we'll create one report and i'll show you that uh, more feature on that so very first thing i'll click the create a report so once you click the create a report it will show the uh, you know um, a screen where you can create your first report so if you see here in the first time uh, it is showing the report name in the left side resource type source type and the data source we'll discuss one by one here by default the NLU is activated that's why you can ask the uh, you know you can ask any question so let's take example of that uh, you know I want to check the active uh, incident so we'll say that report name is all active incident once you click the all active incident so this will be your uh, report name that name is reflected here in the top now next thing is that you have a source type so you have a data source and that is the table. So what is the data source and what is the table? So if you select the table, uh, you have the option to select the table name. For example, if I want to, in my case, if I want to, you know, uh, pull out that all the active incident, my table name will be the incident table. Name. Okay. And then once I select the incident table name, I have to define all the filter one by one. Let's take example that active is true. Uh, you know, um, you know uh, the state is uh, new, uh, work in progress, not in resolve, something like that. All the things I have to be defined here in the filter. So let's say I put all this field one by one for active is true. And then state is one of something like that, right? So state is uh, uh, is not uh, uh, not one of something like that. Not one of uh, resolve close cancel. So this will be my filter, and if I run that, it will give me the list of uh, you know incident. But here is the thing: if you select the show data source here, it will be show the report data source, which is predefined filter. It's already defined everything. Okay. So if I search with the uh, in active incident or incident something like called uh, active so you will get that uh, you know multiple data source and if you see incident open so these already have all the filter assigned previously you just need to be uh, if you see data source condition is active it's true now if you want to on top of that if you want to add any app uh, condition you can add uh, additional condition here so the data source flexibility is that the uh, you know filter and everything is already there for multiple reports you can use the same kind of filter so that's the reason we can use the data source okay so either you can use the data source or table depending on your situation 
now you have it in the bottom uh, there will be next button so once you click the next button it will be shipped from this data to type now you have to define that which type of data you are looking for if you see here after shifting to the next steps it is already showing all the data in a list format so this is the list format it is showing the data okay and this uh, because the default value is the list value now if you want to put any uh, you know additional filter you can put that additional filter so uh, you can do that so there's that is the that is the flexibility you have now you i have the 58 data now in this 58 data you you will see the real time data in the 58 data how you want to represent your data that completely depends on you okay so you want to show the single score you want to show the bar you want to do uh, different type of things we can show i'll show you in a uh, one by one so let's say you want to show the single score so you can just select the single score and then click next the report will be shown in a single score that currently i have 58 incident which is active incident so if you want to show in a single score you can uh, you know uh, do that otherwise there are many options i'll do one one or two so to show you that next is that here a uh, dial option so if you see the dial options and click next it will show in a dial format okay total uh, total count by actual your uh, actual data so this is my total count is 87 and it is the 80, uh, 58 so this way you can see the dial format so there are many way i will show one two i mean few more so this is the one options now if you want to see here pie chart we have a pie chart so let's see that how it looks like once you click the next to the pie do you show active true right so the it is showing like that and then it it have all our active 58 field now if i here if i uh, you know select the field is all uh, priority and then uh, uh, click next so you can see uh, it is a kind of different kind of uh, view it is giving us so in that case what we can see this is the plan uh, this is the moderate this is the high this is the four so this way you can represent your data in a different different format so one is the pie format another is the time series it will show you that i um, mean you know, in a series format okay so each reports have a different kind of you know flexibility you have okay so let's say our case we created this is the report okay now this is our type uh, page now we click the next here in the configuration steps we have to define the extra configuration what is the extra configuration uh, we are trying to group by on the priority so based on the priority it is showing right so this is the field to whom i am grouping by so based on the reports you have selected this field will be crowned so if you select list this will come different if you see select score this field will become different so based on the previous type of report it will be show what type of data you are expecting and then finally the next step is the style in the style it will show that how your color combination or how your report styling will be there so if you see that uh, chart color is this one you can uh, select the several color and then if you uh, refresh here it will change basically it will change so basically you have a different different options to you know show that data in a different format okay so this is the style format so let's say let's take example that we have uh, defined everything uh, whatever we needed now uh, we have uh, put that this is our data source name is the incident uh, open and then data source condition is active equal to true in that case i don't want any additional condition so i'm not putting that if you want you can put the additional condition now you can uh, save this uh, you know report so once you save that it is saying that report created all active incidents so this report is getting created now you have a option you can see this is the here arrow options where you can see you can uh, save as a data source this report can be saved as the next future data source or you can insert and stay you can update so these options are available to you now here you have a sharing options by that you can share this report to particular user like everyone who have a specific role the groups or maybe the user to whom you want to share depending on your situation 
now you can schedule the report so might be by every week or every day it will send the particular user uh, that with this exactly the report it can be sent that I, it, you have to define the time but who, that which time every day, day, day or uh, every month or every daily or weekly it will send this report data to particular user now another option is that add to dashboard you can add this report to any existing dashboard so that way you can click the add to dashboard and then you can you know select the dashboard and then you can add to the particular dashboard okay and then finally you can export this report as a pdf format if you want you can export this report so these are the options available so one more thing that report is the real-time data so now you can see total i have 58 now if i if it is create one data one incident it will automatically uh, immediately show that the whatever it have changes okay so now our report is created we can save that also if you see if you want to do some drill down options add you can do the drill round option so suppose let's after clicking on that if you want to show the list of incident like that you can also uh, set up the drill down options here so these functionality also available so in that case our report is created everything is set down uh, so all active incident now we'll we can create a dashboard and then attach this uh, report to our dashboard to create the dashboard you have to go here and then type the dashboard and then inside the dashboard under the self service you will be able to see all the available dashboard that is you owned by either or you have the share option so dashboard whenever you create the dashboard um you can give permission to other to you know view or edit uh, so that permission you can see so these are the dashboard is owned by me now we'll create a dashboard here and then once you click the uh, create dashboard you can define the to whom this dashboard will be owning by to which user can uh, restrict role so edit user role so who will be able to edit so let's uh, say that incident uh, demo so this will be our dashboard name we can define the groups to whom which groups or which uh, you know uh, group will be available so this dashboard is added and added the essence internal so who have the essence internal they can uh, you know uh, see that now if you click here view dashboard the dashboard will be view so if you see here this is our dashboard and in this dashboard doesn't have any data or any uh, widget we can add the uh, you know um, our dashboard um, we can add the widgets or report so for adding you have to click the add and once you click add you have a multiple types of things that you can add to your dashboard you can add reports you can add performance analytics you can add the interactive filter container gadgets these are many things you can add to your dashboard so our demo case will select the reports and once you click that report you will be able to see the all the reports you can you can search here so we have created this all active incident report we'll just uh, click there and then add that option once we add that that our report that we have created will be available here so you can see these reports is right now added now in this uh, configure options you can see you can define the layout of your uh, you know dashboard that in dashboard it will be two by two column or three by two column you can define that we can let's say it will be two by two column then each uh, row have a two or uh, two kind of two widgets or two uh, data so that way you can define or you can define that how your dashboard will be looks like okay now um, you can share this dashboard to particular uh, person that to whom this dashboard will be shared all the user or groups or role you can you know click here and you can uh, you know uh, add to that user to whom i want to share this dashboard so once it will be shared you can see this dashboard is shared to one particular user now that user will be here in under his dashboard options you will be able to see this dashboard also if you click here you will be able to see all the dashboard that uh, you know uh, is owned by you 
or all the dashboard we share with me. I just share this dashboard to that able to right? So he will be see that uh, my dashboard, whatever I have created under share with me. Okay, so let's open uh, our, uh, uh, you know, this dashboard. So once you add, if you see here, here also you have a multiple options call, you know, you can create a new tab, you can, you know, uh, 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 you can change the copy this dashboard URL, you can many things you can export that everything you can do here because you have the dashboard, you have admin access and you are the owner of this dashboard. So you have a many options to, you know, do that. Also, one more thing that uh, if you see here, if I go back to that, uh, you know, our dashboard overview and then whatever is owned by me, let's say, uh, let's open one of these dashboard. So let's say admin console is the another dashboard that have that uh, capacity to, you know, uh, many things it's already added here, right? So what we can do, I want to know that from which widget or which dashboard or which report it is coming. For that, simply you have to click here and then once you click here, you will be able to see many options, uh, you know, increase height, you can refresh, you can do the settings, you can do the edit. Once you click the edit options, it will land to that particular widget or particular dashboard from where this is coming. So this is coming from one of the reports, it will be directly land to that report only. So that way you can even debug the reports or you can debug your dashboard. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.